I'm also uh, a principal investigator in various other newer techniques that are being evaluated and have a potential uh, use in the management of vascular disease. Um, I'm part of a trial that is looking at comparing surgical management of aortic aneurysms versus endovascular or stent management of aortic aneurysms. Lots of things that are changing in the management of vascular disease. And I think as a specialist in the management of vascular disease, um, I am tremendously excited that we now have the alternatives of pharmacological management in the form of statins and antiplatelet therapies versus minimally invasive methods of management, such as stenting and ballooning, versus open surgery. And importantly, we can mix and match these approaches to formulate the best optimal method of treating individual patients. For instance, there are times when one has to perform a stenting in one location of an artery in order to support a bypass in another location of an artery or the reverse. And at the same time, we also need to manage our patients with intense pharmacological therapy in order to support the stenting and the bypass. And there are other occasions where one treatment may be better than another treatment for a particular patient. And I think it is very important that if you have vascular disease, you come to a vascular specialist who is able to offer you all three major modalities of treating vascular disease, namely medical management, stenting, as well as surgery, so that you can get the most unbiased opinion about what works best for you, and at the same time, your doctor will have the ability to mix and match these treatments so that you can get the best combined management possible.